racing cars that run on electricity? Only in America could a bunch of lead-acid fans get together, determined to show the world you can build electric cars that leave the milk float image behind. I have an electric race car, Snow White, does 140 to 150 miles an hour, the smoke the tires, you know, up to 80 to 90 miles an hour, and I can race the thing in the sports car events. They put me in a class where I need to race against formula cars with wings and superchargers. The fastest class there is is where they put me in. Take a big block Corvette, the 500-inch Corvette, put a tube chassis in it, 12-inch wide racing slicks, and you'll blow its wheels off. There's no gasoline car street legal that can keep up with it. It's at 60 miles an hour, you hit the throttle, it, it's, it snaps your neck. It's painful to drive the thing, it's that fast. What distinguishes electric performance vehicles from the boring sort is the latest technology. And in Silicon Valley, one backstreet laboratory is aiming for pole position. The controller is what makes the difference between a golf cart and a race car on these electric cars. This one here will do zero to 60 miles an hour in three seconds. Really? While this one here is more of an ordinary controller and speed, and it might do 20 seconds or so in an ordinary car. So is this an ordinary on-the-road electric vehicle? Actually, it's purely made as a test bed and done a few other things to make it easier for testing, put in a lot of instrumentation. Our, our main role here is to abuse the components the best we can. We figure if they do not break on this vehicle, then they'll hold up well in an ordinary electric car. The experiments continue on the street. This car is a Porsche 914. As it has been converted to electric. It has been raced at the Phoenix Solar Electric 500 for about three or four years in a row and is placed either second or third. What kind of speeds do you get to? Well, if you promise not to tell the cops, 95 on Bayshore, 101. And uh, when it was originally built, they had it close to 100. So this one can really move out. We're It is an acronym. It stands for Women's Electric Racing Education International Team. We're It, and we're all women, and we converted this rabbit, and um, it's nicknamed Hoplong, and it's all women built, and um, it's 10 12-volt batteries, and we raced it in Phoenix in March at the Electric 500, and it's now a commuter car, and it's our special baby. Californian commitment means that even British classics get the electric treatment. This car was donated to a local environmental group on the stipulation that it be converted to electric. So that started us on finding out about electric cars and how to put it all together and make one work. I had been thinking about doing an electric conversion. So I talked to some people and they told me, yeah, it's possible to do it. And being a backyard mechanic, I figured, all right, I'll try. And I bet you thought you were the only one on the block, didn't you? Uh, actually, yeah, I thought I might have had something unique here with, uh, with this one. As it turned out, there was another electric sunbeam that was actually built before this one, not eight blocks from where I live. Mike, there's something strange about this. There are no batteries. No, this car, we decided to put the batteries in the back. To, uh, you get tired of working around cramped quarters, so we moved them in the back so we had access to all the different components that are in here. Uh, for experimental reasons, we like to be able to get in here and play with this car a little bit. I don't buy gas for this car. That's what you use for this car. <laughs> but there are serious electric commuters already committed to seeking the cleaner future that we hope awaits us all. Why did you go electric? For my kind of driving, which is a lot of short trips during the day and uh, going to work and then from work to meetings, it just made sense to me to, to use an electric car. What um, about speed and range? The top speed of this particular car is 65 miles an hour. The total range on this car is uh, about 60 miles. It drops a little bit during the winter. Uh, if the batteries are cold, you don't get as much range. So this one was a conversion that you had done? This one uh, was a conversion that was done for Robin Williams' wife. I uh, found it out on the internet. They actually had uh, six cars listed at US Electric Car. So we bought it for $15,000 with 6,700 miles on it. But of course, electric commuters need electric employees' car parks. Patty, what does your job involve as part of the commute department? We have an air quality standard that we have to adhere, adhere to, and in that we have to reduce the number of cars and people driving alone to work. And what are you doing for electric vehicle owners specifically? For electric vehicle owners, we provide outlets for them to plug into that they can recharge their vehicle during the day. Electric vehicle.
vehicles come in all shapes and sizes, but most of them represent the essence of sober practicality. But in California, as with most things, if it's worth doing, it's worth going too far. <coughs> electric supermarket trolley racing and light relief for the electric enthusiasts. The only rule, vehicles must still look a bit like the grocery carts they're based on. And don't worry, those flames are just there for effect.